Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 21st tutorial in this course. And in this tutorial, we're going to talk about the else if statement in Perl. So we checked out the if statement. We've also checked out the if else construct. But uh, the problem with the if statement in Perl is that in Perl or in any programming language for that matter is that it allows you to make uh, a decision you know that involves one choice right or maybe two choices you want to do something or you don't want to do something with else you can uh, selectively program for the second option you know uh, so if something is true then you do one thing and if that thing is false then you can do another thing so you know that is what if and else can do for you but let's say you want to choose from a bunch of options and uh, that is what this script is about I have uh, created a file called elsif and uh, in this script uh, we have created a five function calculator so you know this calculator will uh, allow you to add two integers multiply subtract divide and also find the remainder you know when you divide one by another so you know it's a very simple script and uh, you know uh, let's just go through it so on line number three I have created a scalar variable called OP which is going to store the operator uh, you know that or the operation that you that we want to perform on these two numbers uh, uh, X and Y which I have created on lines four and five respectively X has a value 20 and Y has a value 10 so we're going to start with an if statement which I have on line number seven and uh, to compare string values in Perl you know you use the EQ operator and we're going to talk about this uh, in more detail later on for the time being just note that you know this is a condition and this allows you to compare the string that's stored in the variable OP and uh, you know the operation that you want to perform so if whatever value is there in this is add then it's going to add x and y store that result in res and then I have a print statement in the if block that's going to display the result now if the value in op is not add but it's subtract then we want to do something else and for that we have the else if statement remember if this was going to be a two function calculator then I could have just put an else here but since you know there are a lot of other options that I want to provide I have to use else if and the way this is different from else is that it allows you to put a condition you know so it it is basically a combination of the if statement and the else statement so you write else if and then within parentheses you type the condition equals sub and then it subtracts the numbers, stores the result in dollar uh, res, and then it prints it. And similarly, I have a code for multiply, divide, and uh, the remainder operation. And remember, for the remainder operation, we have to use the percent operator. And then finally, I have an else statement, which is going to display unknown operator in case the value in op is uh, none of these. It's neither add nor sub mm, multiply, divide, remainder, whatever, right? so when I run the file the way it is right now I see the message unknown operator because OP has an empty string at the moment but let me change this to add I'll save the file and run the program again I see that the result is 30 because 20 plus 10 is 30 and let me play with one more value let me change this to multiply and when I run it I see that the result is 200 and uh, well actually let me also put REM and when I run the file I see that the result is 0 because 20 is perfectly divisible by 10 so that's it for this tutorial I hope you guys had fun watching this one you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I'm gonna see you in the next tutorial till then take care